Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to Logo History. For this episode, we're going to look at the Washington Redskins and Zoe 101. Here's a fact. Washington, the Washington Redskins actually don't play for the state of Washington. They actually play for Washington, D.C. The Seattle Seahawks play for Washington State. Uh, so yeah, I just want to give out a little disclaimer about that team before I move on to the short bio. For those of you who don't know who the Washington Redskins are, they are an, an American professional football team that plays for the NFL. It was established on July 9th, 1932 as the Boston Braves. In 1933, they changed their name to the Boston Redskins. In 1937, they changed their name to the Washington Redskins. They also played for the NFC East Division in the National Football Conference. Aha! Haha, -ha. the reason why the Washington Redskins played for Washington, D.C. is because they played for NFC East. Washington, D.C. is located in the East. It's not to be confused with Washington State, which is located in the West of the United States. So, yeah, I wanted to give out a little disclaimer, like before the short bio and during the short bio. And so far, they have won three Super Bowl championships, five conference championships, and 14 division championships. They have made 24 playoff appearances in 1936, 1937, 1940, 1942, 1943, 1945, 1971, 1972, 1973, 1974, 1976, 1982, 1983, 1984, 1987, 1990, 1991, 1992, 1999, 2005, 2007, 2012, and 2015. And their home field is the FedEx field. And now without further ado, let's get started. 1937 to 1951, we have, we, we have like an Indian person, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but, but we have an Indian person and we have a head of an Indian, let's just say a head of an Indian, and it's inside this silver circle with yellow outline. 1952 to 1959, same as last time, except the Indian is not inside this circle anymore. Also, it looks more it looks more like it was animated like in MS Paint than like drawn like it was on a shirt or something. 1960 to 1964, uh, the head of the Indian is entirely white. It's inside this red circle this time with white outline. 1965 to 1969, we have an arrow with we have like a yellow arrow with red outline and a, and a yellow feather with red outline. Also, we have a little bit of white color on the feather. 1970 to 1971, uh, we have the letter R in red inside this red circle. And right here we have some white feathers with a little bit of red, a little bit of red on it and it also has red outline. 1972 to 1981 and 1983 to the present. Um, now the Indian is now red, hence the Washington Redskins. And it's inside this white circle with yellow outline. Or maybe, it's on, or maybe it's the other way around. It's inside this yellow circle with white outline. And then we have some feathers with a little bit of yellow on it with white outline. Uh, 1982, this is basically just the same thing, but it's in reverse. Yeah, it's definitely the same as last time. They only used this for only one season. But the only difference is that uh, the logo is in reverse, mostly. Nothing much to say about that. And finally, we move on to Zoe 101. Here's the short bio for those of you who don't know what Zoe 101 was. It was an American comedy drama television series that first aired on January 9th, 2005. If you remember from some of my from some of my older logo history videos, not the ones from last year, but the ones that were earlier this year, then you'll probably remember that my birthday was on January 9th. So basically, this show came out one like exactly one year after I was born. I was born January 9th, 2004. The show came out exactly one year later in 2005. The show ended on May 2nd, 2008. It was created by Dan Schneider, and it starred the likes of Jamie Lynn Spears, Paul Butcher, Sean Flynn, Kristen Herrera, Christopher Massey, Alexa Nicholas, or Nicholas, <laughs> Aaron Sanders, Matthew Underwood, Victoria Justice, and Austin Butler. 
Their opening theme is Follow Me, performed by Jamie Lynn Spears and composed by Britney Spears, Christian Carlson, Pontus Winberg, and Henrik Jonback. Here's a fact, Jamie Lynn Spears is related to Britney Spears. I'm pretty sure some of you know this because of their last names, because get it, Spears. Uh, throughout its three years of airing, they have aired four seasons and 61 episodes. And their website is www.nick.com slash shows. I won't go on that website because it won't feature uh, the show Zoe 101. Also, uh, the show was followed by Victorious because one of the actors in the show, Victoria Justice, who played Lola in the show, she went on to, to, be, uh, to play Tori Vega, Tori Vega in Victorious. So again, the show was followed by Victorious because... Uh, Victoria Justice, the girl who played Lola in the show, went on to play Tori Vega in Victorious. And now without further ado, let's get started. 2005 to 2008, we have the word Zoe in blue text, blue and white text with black outlines. But like light blue and white text with black outline though. But um, And then we have, a, we, we have a purple rounded rectangle with the number 101. In black, and it's and it's surrounded by um, black outline. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I forgot the version with the Nickelodeon logo that was used only in only one year in 2015. Stay tuned for episode 547: Rare, The Buffalo Bills, Blues Clues, Blues Clues, and You, and Grand Theft Auto. Bye for now.